We're going to move on to the last topic before we get to our take for 99. Want to stick around for that. We are going to debate right now, okay? It's Brock Purdy or CMC, the MVP, okay? Lead right now. And Zay, once again, the mic is yours. Yeah, I'm going with CMC. I've been saying that from the beginning of the season. I've been saying it early on. Like, when, why can't we have a running back as an MVP? Why can't we have a uh, wide receiver as the MVP? Because right now the quarterbacks are not it. The quarterbacks are not it on in this damn league. They're not MVPs of the league. And we're seeing it. It's the positional players who are really the dominance of these teams. Uh, we're talking about multiple teams. We're talking about the Tyreek Hills of the Dolphins. We're talking about CMC of the San Fran. Uh, we're talking about um, if Justin Jefferson would have played a full season, he would have been the MVP of the damn Vikings. Like, it's, it's a multitude of guys who are the leading forces for the teams being as dominant as they are, and it's not the quarterback position. And I, don't, I just don't think the quarterback position, should, any quarterback at that matter, should be MVP. And I think whoever's voting out there in the media, it would be a travesty to vote any quarterback MVP right now. All the quarterbacks are not good. All the quarterbacks have, been, have had droughts this season for multiple games, not just one, multiple game droughts. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes to Josh Allen's to Jalen Hurts to literally Brock Purdy. Every quarterback in this league has had a drought, and I just feel like the ones that have been consistent are the ones who are going damn near about to break the receiving record for 2,000 yards. The, the uh, Christian McCaffrey, who dominates the field every time he touches the ball, and like the, the way the team looks when he's on the football field, the way the team is when he's on the football field, opposed to when he's off. They should show a, a differential for the guy, and the guys are on and off the field for these positional players as well because these quarterbacks don't look the same when they're off the field. When these certain when particular guys are not on the field, these quarterbacks look completely off. They don't look like the same dominated quarterback that we're putting in an MVP race. They don't look like the same quarterbacks that were in the damn Super Bowl that had five touchdowns and then somehow lost the damn game. Jalen Hurts. They, they, they look different. And it, it just it just disgusts me that we keep talking about these quarterbacks like C Mac and, and Tyreek Hill are not dominating the game right now. These guys need praise. They need flowers. They need votes in that MVP race. And I got CMC for the MVP league. Okay, look, I'm going to answer this question like this, right? I don't think neither is the MVP lead right now. I'm going to just make that evident, right? Now, my MVP lead is Lamar Jackson, but we'll get there in a minute. If you want to keep it, who is ahead with these two guys, Brock Purdy or Christian McCaffrey, I'm going to go with Brock Purdy. And the reason why, folks, I got to be real with you, man. I'm a thinker. I'm a philosophical person. I think a lot. And sometimes when you think a lot, you kind of go back and forth. You know, when you some people, they it is what it is. They say what they say. That's how they feel. They never change. But me, I'm more mature than that now. I think a lot. And I just had a revelation. I had a common sense revelation that has caused me to do a 360 right now with this tape. Last week or the week before, I think it was the week before, I said that a quarterback should not be MVP this year. I said it was going to be Tyree Kill or should have been Tyree Kill. Or it should have been CMC, right? But I had a revelation because I like to think. And I said to myself, hmm, Lil, just think about it for a second. What is the most valuable position in the NFL? Quarterback, right? Quarterback. I, I thought about it, right? And I'm saying, well, if that's the most valuable position, shouldn't the MVP really come from there? There's a reason why the quarterback is, you know, the MVP every single year. The MVP is a quarterback award because that's the most valuable position on the field. If something happens to the quarterback, chances are your team going to lose. So I thought about it. I'm like, okay, CMC is explosive. You know, run after the catch, pass after the catch. You know, he can do it all. You know, he's one of those type of guys. He's still got the juice despite him being a running back, despite him being in the league for the couple years that he has been in the league and all the injuries. He's still that dude. But I said to myself, okay. What if something happened to Brock Purdy tomorrow? Knock on wood. Or Sunday when they play. Or Saturday. I think it was Monday. I think it's Monday. They play on Christmas Day. So what if something happens, knock on wood, to Brock Purdy on Monday? Do we look at the 49ers as a Super Bowl favorite still? No, I don't. Even with Sam Donald. I don't. Now, I do think they can win a playoff game with Sam Donald. But I don't see them winning a Super Bowl without Brock Purdy. That's just me. Right? But if something happened to CMC... Would I feel the same way? Yeah, kind of. I still think they could win and, and make the Super Bowl without CMC because they still got Debo. They still got IU. They still got Trent Williams. They still got Fred Rona. And they still got Brock Purdy, who's been playing good. Right? Now, don't get me wrong. You don't want to lose CMC. But what I'm saying is that I still think they could, you know, at least make to the Super Bowl without him. Right? Now, when you talk about Tyreek Hill, 
it, it's funny because that was my number one a couple weeks ago. And we all know that when you're playing a guy like that, you have to defend him differently. You know, you have to account for Hill before you account for anybody else on the Dolphins. And that's value. I agree that that's value right there. When the defense is scheming you out of the game plan, that's value because you can open up things for everybody else. However, without Tua last year, or without Tua last year, I don't think he missed the game this year, but without Tua last year, they went five and nine without their quarterback. They went five and nine. Tyreek Hill was playing. You know, as much as I like Tyreek Hill, he was playing. They lost five games. I mean, excuse me, nine games without Tua, you know, including the playoffs when they lost to Buffalo. Without two, I think if two was playing that game, I think they win that game against Buffalo the way how Josh Allen was handing that game away, right? So that's why quarterbacks, to me, are the MVPs of the league. And I just had a 360 revelation, common sense. They are the most viable position in the league. However, none of these guys is my MVP lead, and I'll get back to who I said it was, Lamar Jackson. And the reason why is because clearly if you subtract Lamar Jackson from the Ravens, they are not doing nothing this year. Okay, and guess what? One more thing, Zay. Whatever. Whatever. One more thing, Zay. Well, they did win a Super Bowl with Joe Flacco, so I can't really say ever, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. But the reason why Lamar Jackson is the MVP is because he does things that other quarterbacks can't do. That's value. When you look at that game against the Jaguars on Sunday Night Football, I'm preaching, bro. I'm preaching. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Right. When you look at that game on Sunday Night against the Jaguars, he um escaped out of a sack. He scrambled out of a sack, and then he did another shifty move and do that ball deep to Isaiah Likely. And that play was not likely to happen. But Lamar Jackson made it likely when he threw it to Likely. Okay? Nobody could do that. <laughs> maybe Patrick Mahomes. Maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. But not a lot of guys could do that. So when you look at Lamar Jackson and what he's able to do on the field, it's stuff that other quarterbacks can't do. Now, with all due respect to Brock Purdy, I get it. Stats, stats, stats. Oh, my God. You know, pass attempts, lead, lead, passing yards, whatever. But it's more than stats. It's about value. Most valuable player. That's Lamar Jackson. He's Listen, Lamar Jackson may just be the best quarterback in the NFL, bro. And I think if he wins the Super Bowl, he can cement himself as that, as such. Two MVPs, a Super Bowl, Patrick Mahomes, got to go. It will be Lamar Jackson. He's my MVP, and I'll leave it there. Yeah, so I think um, great points. Lamar Jackson, of course, uh, MVP, likely. Um, But I'm still stuck on the running backs and the receivers being the brunt of what these quarterbacks are capable of doing. If Tyreek Hill wasn't on the Dolphins, where's Tua? We don't know. They were talking about Tua being out the league if that connection didn't happen. Um, We talk about CMC. You know, CMC met a lot of quarterbacks. CMC made Jimmy G. CMC was with Cam Newton for a lot of years. I'm not saying he made him, but he was with Cam Newton. He made Jimmy G. Jimmy G made the deck on Super Bowl without CMC, bro. I don't think he made um Kyle Shanahan made Jimmy G. Don't get me wrong. No, no Jimmy not G. CMG. Jimmy G made the Super Bowl. I'm talking about like the way the offense was looking before. I mean, it was, you know, Jimmy G wasn't he was on his way out too before CMC got there. That's another dude out. He was on his way out. Like it was, fair, these, fair, these are dudes fair. that are on their way out. Like Jimmy G did make a play on Super Bowl. But it's just this is what I'm talking about. Like it's just like now, when at what point do we start giving the respect to these um receivers receivers and running backs who are dominating the game like are we going to create a separate award for them positional mvp because these guys deserve these, these awards at the highest level but they don't get recognized because as you stated the quarterback is is the prize jewel of the league they're the, they're the faces of the league faces of the team face the franchise quarterback they never say the franchise running back they never say the franchise they, they, it's 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 all in this in the, in the workings but i think you have to rework the way things are because right now these the this year is more prevalent than ever that these quarterbacks are not playing up the standard. They're being decimated. Um, they're being decimated. They're showing their weaknesses in real form. Like, this wasn't happening when the Bradys, the Mannings, and all these guys back in the day, even Roethlisberger in his prime, this wasn't a thing back then. It was the early 2000s. But now we're seeing that these quarterbacks are being stifled by certain guys. But the ones that are not being stifled are like the Christian McCaffreys, are like the Tyree Kills, who are just putting out dominating performances week to week. But they don't get no praise for it because the MVP don't go to those positions. They just get like, oh, you had a great year. Thank you. But they don't get the highest regard of, yeah, this guy is MVP of the year. Or this guy is the most, the, the, I mean, offensive player of the year, I guess. That's the, that's their award. But it's not, you know, it, it's kind of like it's not as prestigious as an MVP of the league. And I feel like those are the players that deserve to be in that kind of race, in that kind of talking. Because those guys are dominating their matchups week to week 
against defensive teams and all this other stuff. So, yeah, I mean, look, I, I would like to see, you know, uh, other position win an MVP, bro. I would like to see a running back win an MVP. I would like to see uh, maybe offensive lineman. Never going to happen. <laughs> Never gonna happen. We'll get the AI robots before we get that, bro. Leave the world behind. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's gonna happen before we see a offensive lineman win an MVP. Now, you know, I would like to see a wide receiver win it, but you know, I gotta be real. Like the quarterback position is so valuable, and that's my revelation. Like, think about Tyreek Hill missing last week's game against um on Sunday to um the Jets, right? I understand it's the Jets and all that, right? With all due respect, but that offense didn't miss a beat. They still put up like 30 points and, you know, it's still explosive with Jalen Waddle there. So that kind of definitely opened my eyes, too, because it's like, all right, you look good without Tyree Kill. And yeah, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not like the NBA, right? The NBA, no matter what your position is, right? If you're the best player on the court, then you will win that award, whether you were center, Jokic, Embiid, rather. I mean, it seems like it's become the center award now. Don't get me wrong, because you had Embiid, yeah, Jokic, Jokic, whatever. It looks like it's a center award, but other guys can win it, right? And we see other guys win it, other positions. But the NFL, although we say that the NFL is more team reliant than basketball is, at the end of the day, the quarterback position is most valuable than any other position. And it's not only due to the oh, we want to see the quarterback, that's the Denzel Washington, that's the Will Smith, that's the Michael B. Jordans, right? That's who bring us to the movie. It's about the value. If Rob Purdy went down today, that's it. I don't think the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl, right? If um Tua went down today, you still think the Dolphins are winning the championship without Tua? You think Mike White is going to be the Heisenberg of the um NFL? You know, like, no. You know, I don't think so, you know? So that's why a quarterback is going to win the award every single year, even in a year where this could have been the year that you gave it to somebody else. It's probably not going to happen because quarterbacks are the most valuable position. They get paid the most money, and that's why we're going to see a quarterback win the award. And the quarterback who I think should win the award will be Lamar Jackson. Please like and subscribe for all the up-to-date content. We're, you've been slinging shows left and right, slinging content left and right. Please don't miss anything. If you do, like, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a question, something you may want to answer, something you may have. It's, all ideas are great ideas. Nothing's a dumb question. 